Hi, I'm Edry. Some of us from North Decatur have been reading the Book of Acts together, and we are in the middle of the Book of Acts now, 15th chapter, and today I'm going to be talking about the first 11 verses in this chapter. Uh, our main characters, Paul and Barnabas, have been to more than several towns and communities where they have stopped first at the temple and talked about Jesus to the Jews, and then they would go and talk to the Gentiles. And both places were really fruitful. Uh, folks appreciated the good news that the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus brought to them and many people were made believers. And eventually, folks who were steeped in the Jewish tradition um, by family religion were a little concerned that the rules of the believers, the Jewish believers, were not being followed by the Gentiles and at that time, the Gentiles were considered part of the Jewish faith group. They hadn't been separated out yet. They were all under the same umbrella and, and the tensions were kind of starting to make them burst at the seams. Paul and Barnabas continued to believe that because the Holy Spirit was with the Gentiles as much as it was with the Jews, that this was a valid faith group. And indeed, Peter had started this by having this dream of, of the sheet coming down with all the unclean foods that were suddenly okay to eat. And God said, I've created it, eat. So the Gentiles coming into the Jewish faith or coming to believe in Jesus was a point of conflict. Now, some of us hear the word conflict and we want to go running away and not deal with it. But God used conflict in this instance and many instances as a place of growth and and I think I need to be attentive to that. There were some folks who came to Paul and Barnabas from Judea kind of like the old neighborhood where they used to live and preach and said you know, there's some real concerns about you hanging around with the Gentiles and that the the believers aren't following the old rules. And, and we see that you're doing great things and lots of people are coming to Jesus, but this isn't how we always have done things. Seven last words of the church. We've never done it that way before. Same thing. That's not how we do faith. So, Paul and Barnabas and several other folks from the church at Antioch go down to Jerusalem and have participate in this Jerusalem council, which is basically trying to figure out how the new church is going to do faith and what is going to be acceptable and what isn't going to be acceptable. And is this group of people who believe in Jesus and have had the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, are they going to be part of the Jewish faith family or are they something different? And I'm here to tell you they become something different. And yet we have the same 
um, we've adopted the same ancestors. Abraham and Isaac and Adam and Eve and um, Noah and Jonah and Sarah and Rebecca and Mary and Martha. So they go to Jeru the Jerusalem Council and there are some tough moments and they are called into account. Paul and Barnabas and folks from the church at Antioch are called into account. Well, what are you doing? And how come certain rules are being followed and certain rules aren't being followed? And these folks believe in God, they believe in Jesus, and they are filled with the Holy Spirit. And the true sticking point is the Jewish practice of circumcision. And Paul and Barnabas did not want to put that burden on the converts of the Gentiles and felt that was a yoke and a burden that may be too much to bear. And indeed, for the men, it may have been. For the women, that kind of is a practice that excludes us. So I'm glad that was a practice that was laid to rest as we enter the faith. Uh, we enter the faith through our baptism and that's a pretty even way to enter the faith. It isn't split into what the guys can do and what the gals can do. So there was conflict. The disciples, the apostles, and the young church grew, grew, grew through this conflict, maybe even because of this conflict. And I would hope that as we continue to grow as Christians and we face conflict, because conflict will come because we are human beings, that we be willing to wrestle with it and embrace it and pray for the change that will come. Thank you for being attentive. Um, like, feel free to share this with friends or family that may be interested in participating in this study of Acts. Be well. Know that even you are a beloved child of God. And when you were born, you made God smile. Bye.